Hey y'all, 60-something style here. I hope everybody's doing good today. I know I am. Today we are going to do a wig review on, uh, let's see, another Paula Young wig. Now, this wig I have reviewed before in a different color, but this is a new color and it's pretty. Uh, let me show you the wig out of the, the Paula Young Okay, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that color. It is Victoria in Royal Silver. And ah, so pretty. So pretty. Let's, uh, let's see. Before, let me get it out and then I'll read you the, um, all the statistics on it. All the, the um, links and weights and all that kind of stuff. So we've got, um, let's see here. Now, like most Paula Young wigs, she's open wefted and has a, uh, a real pretty closed top. It's closed because it has a fair amount of permatease. Now, if you don't like some poof to your wigs, I don't know. You'll, be, you'll just have to watch this and see. But if you do like poof and you like permatease, this may be the girl for you. So, um, has, of course, just your open ear tabs with the little stays in them so we can get them nice and snug up against our face. And it has, oh, a very nice soft um, at the front, the felt front. And the back, it has an extended nape, has the felt back here, as well as Velcro tabs for adjusting. So let's look here at this color and just see if that is not gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love this wig. I just think it's so pretty. So... Without further ado, let's put it on, if you will, and I'm sure you will. Alrighty, let's dive right in. Let me take my glasses off, and then I'm going to dive right in. And I want to apologize for the lighting. I, I don't know, it's kind of funky, but as long as you can see it, I guess that's the main thing. Okay, you know, we always want to get our ear tabs lined up, get all the hair out that might have pulled in there. Okay, now let's get our ear tabs lined up. Get them like an arrow going through your head, just like uh, Patty's Pearl says, you want to go right through there. Now we are going to get it, um, I'm going to have to look in my mirror here to get it where it needs to be right there at my hairline. Oh my goodness, y'all. How pretty is it? How pretty is this wig? I love this. Look at that right out of the box. I haven't even fiddled with it much. Uh, it's a little asymmetrical, of course. This side is a little bit longer than this side. Over here, we've got a nice little boy cut with a little sideburn. And you know me, I always like to have mine back. I want to kind of get those, um, let's get some of this, let's get our hands in here and get a little bit of volume going. Let me see. I probably might need to it just seems a little bit far forward, but I guess it's not. I might need to uh, get my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Let's pull that back and probably would like to pull that back a little bit as well. I like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like it all kind of back. And... Um, as you know, I always don't do anything with my wigs except with my hands. Now, the bangs, you can either kind of, you know, pull you a little bit of a bang out like this, which I think is really cute, 
or you could take it more off your face, you know, kind of lift it up there a little bit and get those bangs out of the way. Just either way you, you like it is fine. You're the one wearing it, so you can wear it any way you want to. You can kind of get it, um, you can give it a deeper part or a, more of a true left part. I kind of like a deeper part myself. I, I just think that kind of looks good. So let's do that. And I am going to spin around and show you what she looks like. Let me pull this. One thing I do want to um, call your attention to is the coverage on the sides. Look at that. Look how good that coverage is. Now my hair is so close to this color that even if I have a little bit of hair showing it, it's not really going to be any kind of a big deal. Now on this side as well, look at that coverage. Look at that. My hair is way on back in there. So it's got excellent coverage. Now I like it kind of, I think it's kind of sassy looking if you have one side completely tucked or maybe just tuck a little bit, you know, pull a little bit out, tuck the rest have the other one long and kind of swooping. Just a, a real sassy little look there. And um, I'm going to do a spin, let you see it on all sides, and then we will talk about all of the specs on it. Okay, this is my right side. Make sure I'm still in the uh, camera range. I believe I am. Okay right side. Now we're going to go around. Look at that back. Look how cute that neck is. And look, that really has great coverage down there. Left side, and this is the short little kind of boy cut side. And back to the front. So isn't that cute? It, I just think it's a doll. You know what would look so cute? Pop that collar up there. Just get your collar popped. Get it up like that. Oh, yeah, how cute. How cute is that? I love it. I'm going to wear it tomorrow, I think. Um, I've got a busy day tomorrow, so why not? It's really comfortable. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, Paula Young wigs, the... Um, Petite to medium usually fit me great without any problem. Um, there's some some of them, some models that I might have to pull in just a little bit. Some I let out just a little bit like this one. I've got let out all the way, and it's pretty comfortable. So whew, hot. It's too hot in Dallas. It's still like hot. <laughs> so um, one other thing I wanted to do. I have a um, a new subscriber and I went and looked at her channel and I do want to give her a shout out. Her channel is Gammy's Going Gray. G-A-M-M-Y apostrophe S. Gammy's Going Gray. And she has the most absolutely beautiful hair. It is Pretty much exactly this color, just a beautiful, beautiful gray with a lot of dark in it, a salt and pepper, and it's thick, 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 and it is uh, kind of wavy, curly. It's so pretty, but I did want to give her a shout out, and um, I know she's done a fair amount of um, Paula Young and other wigs. She's done reviews on others, and... Um, my next one that I'm going to do is one I've done before, but I'm sure some of my new subscribers haven't seen it. And the reason I'm going to do it again, it's a Gabor wig, the reason I'm going to do it again is because of the color. And I am going to ask all of y'all to let me know after I do that one what you think of that color on me. Um, I'm just so used to the silver, I'm ready to venture out maybe and try something else. So anyway, uh, speaking of subscribers, if you liked this video, I ask you to give me a thumbs up or two thumbs ups. And if you don't like the video, then maybe 
you would be very kind and just not say so. <laughs> no, you you be honest. You do what you want to do. And also, if you're not a subscriber, I would like to ask you to subscribe. I um, I looked this morning, and I was like four short of a thousand subscribers. How about that? For those of you that have been following me, um, and you know, subscribers, um, that's been a goal, and I'm I'm just really excited that I'm almost there. Especially since I was gone for several months, and I still had people subscribing. So, you know, it's the craziest dead gum thing. I when I started this, could not imagine that really there'd be anybody out there that would be interested in seeing an old woman try on wigs. And, um, you know, as y'all know, I'm 60-something, and so I'm not, I'm not old by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just not something I thought that there would be many viewers for. And I'm really surprised. I'm surprised I've got so many, and... Um, just wonderful subscribers. They stick with me no matter what, and I thank you. I thank you so very much, and I'd like to welcome any new ones that I have not welcomed yet. And um, so, I guess that's that. Um, things are going well around here. I am uh, feeling better every day, so that's a good thing. I um, Today, I've taken... Uh, some advice people I put on makeup and I look in the mirror and I think oh my god I look like a clown I've got on so much makeup and then I do a video and it looks like I'm pale as a ghost and uh, people ask me to uh, use a little more color on my face so I did this time I hope that uh, you can tell I'm a little bit more made up I'm not quite looking like a whore but um, I've got a lot on so, <laughs> um, any of my new subscribers, let me warn you, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. And I'm sorry if I'm offensive. I'm sorry, but life's short. we got to enjoy it. So, anyway, again, the, oh, I'm such a dork. I completely forgot to give you the stats on this week. Let's do that really, really quick. Once again, this is Victoria in Royal Silver. And the it features uh, 2.3 ounces, so it is very, very um, lightweight. Feels like nothing on your head. The okay, so the front and the top goes from three and a half on this side to five and a half on this side. The crown is three and a half to four and a half. So you've got some uh, layering going on up there. The sides are two and three quarters. So that's underneath here, two and three quarters. The upper back is two and a quarter. You know, it's short. It's got that little boy cut down the back, which I truly love. And then it has a two and a quarter inch nape, which gives you excellent coverage. And I forgot to tell you, when you looked at the back, if you saw a big knot back there, I don't have a tumor on my head, but I do have a little ponytail action going on, and uh, my little ponytail's like that long, and it kind of just bumps out. So normally when I wear a wig, I, I flatten my hair down. I don't have a little ponytail back there. So uh, just know that if, if you wear a wig like this, you need to flatten it down or have your ponytail really, really low where, um, you know, you can catch that back on it. So, anyway, I hope y'all love this. Again, this is a cutie patootie. Um, let me look in the mirror one more time, get it straight. I, I love it. It is the most beautiful color, and it's not too shiny. It looks like a beautiful healthy, shiny head of hair. So, y'all have a great day, and I am going to talk to y'all later. Next week, I'll be doing that Gabor wig, and we'll make some decisions on whether or not I need to buy some more, um, some more gold, or, or, you know, kind of a blondish, brownish gold, and um, we'll talk about that next week. Until then, y'all have a 
great week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.